Rudy has never been able to see. His eyes were removed at a very young age. I am Anda, and this is Rudy's story for GeoBeats. His uh, entire litter was abandoned. The mom left the kittens. They all had pretty severe nasal and eye infections and were rescued by this local shelter. Where'd he go? All six of the kittens that were part of his litter ended up having to have one, if not both, eyes removed due to the infection. When we came across Rudy, we just fell in love. My husband and I, we both cried when we saw him. The employee at the shelter handed him over to us. He rode with me, cuddled like a baby for that five-hour trip. It was amazing. When we first brought Rudy home, we were very nervous. We tried to keep him in smaller areas just to get him used to his surroundings, but we quickly realized he didn't want to stay in there. <laughs> <laughs> he was really apt to figuring things out. He kind of scales along the wall. That's how we really started to learn to navigate around the house. Good boy. Now, just watching him on the stairs, you can tell he knows exactly how many stairs there are. He knows where everything in the house is. Where's your treats at? We try and keep everything very consistent. He knows exactly where to go for his treats and he might hang out there half the day because he just might get some more. We do have two other cats. We have a 17 year old tabby cat and her name is Big Kitty, even though she's our smallest kitty. When we adopted her, she had one eye. And then the other cat is Little Kitty, who is our biggest cat. He really didn't have any issues adjusting to our two other cats. His hearing, his sense of smell are elevated because of his lack of sight. He can hear any sort of movement. He'll know that there's something off in the distance swaying. We have hardwood floors, so he can hear when another cat is anywhere on that floor. I can't hear it, but he can hear it. <laughs> he knows exactly where that couch is, and he knows where to hide. <laughs> he has an understanding of timing as well, so he can tell how far away and how long that cat has been sitting there. Our other two cats have some very cat-like qualities where they just want to be left alone. What are you doing? He demands pets and attention. How did you get up there? He likes to be able to hear a voice or some sort of sound of maybe a keyboard to know where people are. Come here. He has a stool that he sits on next to me while I work and really is comforted by just being near people. He's also very attached to my husband. <laughs> when my husband comes home from work, he will run to the door, then he will just rub on your legs and meow. And that's his way of saying, I love you. Thank you for coming home. <laughs> oh, I love him so much. Oh, that morning stretch. We're in and we're in. Good morning. Good morning, Rudy. He opens your eyes to realizing that all creatures, regardless of their disabilities, deserve a home, a loving home, and have a lot to offer the world. I want people to know that it is okay to be a little nervous to adopt a special needs animal, but the love and the care that you will receive back um, is more than worth it. Pretty what are you doing? <laughs>